Hey folks, welcome to the fourth in a series of six videos where we look at the key definitions that you need to know for the advanced higher physics exam. In this video, we cover the definitions for the electromagnetism topic, and I'd recommend that you make your own flashcards from these definitions. You can do this by writing down the word or term on one side, and the meaning or the definition on the other. So let's get started. Firstly, we have electric field. This is the region that surrounds electrically charged particles in which a force is exerted on other electrically charged particles. And remember that an electric field will exist around any point charge. Next we have electric field strength, and this is the electrical force per unit positive charge. And this can be seen from the equation F equals QE that you get on the relationship sheet in the exam. So if you rearrange that for the electric field strength E, you get F divided by Q, which is simply your electrical force divided by your positive charge Q. And the reason we talk about positive charge here is because remember when we're talking about electric field lines, we always talk about the field lines going in the direction that a positive charge would move in if placed in that field. Moving on, we have the term electrical potential at a point, and electrical potential can also be called electrostatic potential. And this is the work done in moving unit positive charge from infinity to that point. Now you might notice that this is very similar to the definition for gravitational potential at a point in space, which was seen in the key definitions video for the astrophysics topic. And this is talking about a work done, so that's an energy, and moving unit positive charge, so that's a coulomb, from infinity to the point that you're talking about. Next we have the electron volt, and this is the energy acquired when one electron accelerates through a potential difference of one volt. You should be able to convert numbers in joules into electron volts, and vice versa. And you can do this using the conversion 1 electron volt equals 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. Our next definition for the circuits part of the electromagnetism topic is the time constant. And this says that if the capacitor is charging, it is the time taken to increase the charge stored to 63% of the difference between initial charge and full charge. However, if the capacitor is discharging, it is the time taken for the capacitor to discharge to 37% of its initial charge. Moving on for capacitors, we have capacitive reactance. And this is the opposition of a capacitor to changing current, i.e. AC current. Moving on we have Lenz's law for inductors, and this states that the induced EMF always opposes the change in current which causes it. Next we have inductance, and this says that the inductance of an inductor is 1 Henry if an EMF of 1 volt is induced when the current is changing at a rate of 1 ampere per second. Inductance is a property of an inductor which depends on its design. So just like a resistor having a resistance and a capacitor having a capacitance, an inductor will have an inductance, and this inductance of the inductor has a value that is dependent on the inductor itself. It will not change unless you change the inductor itself. Next we have something related to Lenz's law which is called back EMF, and this is the EMF produced when a magnetic field is generated around the coil of an inductor. This occurs when the inductor is placed in a circuit in which the current is changing. For example, if you have an inductor and a resistor in a circuit with an open switch, and then you close the switch, the current will immediately start to change, at which point a back EMF will be produced. A back EMF would then also be produced when you open the switch. Lastly, we have inductive reactance, and this is very similar to capacitive reactance, but just for inductors. So this is the opposition of an inductor to changing current, i.e. AC current. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.